Welcome to our program on Kardec Radio. Good evening. Welcome to Kardec Radio. This is the daily prayer program every day at 6 p.m. My name is Teresa Castro, and I am the host for the Sunday 6 p.m. prayer. So welcome to everybody. Um, so this evening, we have our message before we go into our prayer. And um, I want to remind everybody, if you can have your water nearby, it's always a good idea when we pray to have some water nearby, knowing that the good spirits bring to us medicine that is personalized to each of us that can help us. So um, if you want to make sure you have a water bottle, glass of water, water, whatever, whatever. <clears throat> Great. Okay. So our message this evening comes from it's actually taken out of the spiritist Ma the, the spiritist magazine and it's um issue number 47 and i just want to say to everyone um hi nora brazil how are you welcome this evening and that the Spiritist magazine can be um, found online, just simply going to the spiritistmagazine.com. I even just put in Spiritist magazine and it takes me there. Um, and you can either read right online or you can download if you want to print or you can order. So anyhow, the message today is taken out of the Spiritist magazine. However, the message is from the book, Follow Me by Emmanuel, uh, psychographed by Chico Xavier. <clears throat> now this book is not yet translated. So this translation is coming out of the Spiritist magazine. So again, the message is um, from Emmanuel, psychographed by Chico Xavier. And it is based on, the title of the message is Compliment and Criticism. So it starts out with a little um, uh, text from the Bible, from the New Testament. Every good and perfect gift is from above, coming down from the Father of the heavenly lights, who does not change like shifting shadows. And this is from the letter of James, it's chapter 1, verse 17. <clears throat> So here's the message. If the sun, this is a message by Emmanuel. If the sun depended on human approval to nourish the life that gravitates around it, certainly it would long ago be reduced to a pile of ashes. If the earth suffered from the censures that are constantly made by those who categorize it as a valley of tears, it would have already descended to the condition of cemetery in space. If the seed rejected the solitude and death to which it is relegated in the soil in order to collaborate with the sustenance of the world, the creatures would have been for a while without the blessing of bread. If the spring refused the incessant and permanent regime change in which it is called to serve, life organized on earth would be confined to primitivism and stagnation. If the tree only produced under applause, the fruit would not bless humanity's table. Workers of the truth and the good, let us reflect on the simple lessons of nature and let's work. Give thanks to the compliment that strengthens you from, for the fulfillment of the natural obligations of the world and enjoy with resignation the warning that criticism gives you. However, 
If we need praises to work, and if admonition paralyzes the faculties of service, we are still far from understanding the treasure of opportunities for improvement and elevation that enriches our ways. Since above all, the blessing that comfort us, the light that illuminates our road, the strength that sustains us, and the support that hold us always come from on high and proceed originally and only from God. Wow. So a great message to think a little bit more in depth about criticism and compliment. And so just to kind of break down the message a little bit. Uh, so first of all, this is a letter. Uh, when we read the little Bible text in the beginning, it was a letter to um, from James to God's people. And so we know that um, it's a letter, so it's not a whole gospel. And the James that is attributed to these letters is the son of Alphaeus. He was also known as James the Less or James the Just. And so just not to confuse him with John and James, the brothers of Zebedee, um, the sons of Zebedee. Uh, so anyway, just to get a little bearing. And then, um, so this letter that he was writing when he talked about, you know, that everything good comes from God is these letters, the importance of these letters is he was um, talking about how important action, that taking action with faith is, is how important it is in order to practice Christianity. So this particular Bible reading that we just read is from a section of the letter on temptation. And so just to give you some background to this little verse we read is that in that letter, he was telling the people that um, we cannot blame God when we feel tempted because God cannot be tempted by evil and God does not tempt anyone. And so we know this now, um, you know, uh, in the Genesis, the um, according to Spiritism, Genesis, in chapter two, we find there the attributes of God. And so we know these things are not true. And also, you know, James um, says that, you know, God, who does not change like shifting shadows. And so one of those attributes is God is immutable. So God doesn't change. We change and our understanding of God changes as we evolve, but God doesn't change. Okay. So then we look at Emmanuel's message. So he is um, helping us to see these same attributes by looking to nature. So he says, you know, nature doesn't wait to be complimented or wait for approval to produce or carry out its function. And um, so, you know, he gives that example of, you know, the tree bearing fruit or the seed uh, germinating, you know, they, they do what they need to do, not based on approval or disapproval. And then the idea that, you know, not only approval, but, you know, when we're feeling criticized, he relates that back to nature if things don't go well. So flowers don't bloom, um, the seeds don't sprout, or there's a rainy day. Uh, nature doesn't stop or refuse. Just, you know, as, as we see, everything passes, uh, a new season comes, and the seasons change, and it just keeps going. Um, he also helps us to see that if we're waiting for other people's approval or compliments, we're not gonna get much done. Um, and when we encounter criticism, he, he suggests that we see it as a warning, um, resigning ourselves, which we know um, resignation in the gospel according to Spiritism in chapter nine, number eight, clearly defines for us 
resignation, which is consent with the heart. Also, we can think about as acceptance without rebelliousness. So I, I think we can really sum up this reading um, with a, a, you know that idea of grow where you're planted, uh, so to speak. So you know, accepting God's designs. So wherever we may be, you know, to carry out that mission, you know, just like the nature has their own functions of what they need to do, we have our own missions. And, um, you know, because we're all, we're, we're like seeds spread around the world, right? Some of us are rich, some of us are poor, some of us have PhD, some of us have a high school education, some of us don't. Um, some of us speak German, some of us only speak English, you know, so some of, you know, we all have different religions, but the idea that um, it doesn't matter that we're, we're all children of God, we all have a mission and that we should remember that our source of power is from God, not from another person telling us or even a title. Um, so it's not from materials. And just, um, you know, to remind ourselves that those materials are not going to be taken with us. So people, other people's approvals, you know, they're not coming with us back to the spirit world. Um, God's not going to be asking how many approvals did we get. Um, so I, I think this message even has a greater um, meaning for us in terms of we really prepare ourselves for leaving the material, the earthly plane, um, by the way we live. And so what does that mean is detachment. So we can actually live better and, and transition better as we are less detached to our material, physical um, envelope and things. Uh, okay, so that's um, the message for this evening. So as we kind of hold in this light, let's in the light of this message, let's go off into our prayer and hopefully we will get some music and let me know if it's not loud enough or maybe too loud. And I would just like to remind people to um, um, look at the Kardec radio programming for other programs and Monday evening is the spiritual cares program where they're um, are the virtual passes. So I encourage everybody, this can be a stressful time in light of everything else with the holidays as well. So let us um, again, stay in this light of this message. As we remember, we are all God, whether we are treated well by others or not so well. We connect with the space we are holding. We feel the rise and fall of our chest, following our breathing, not doing anything special, just connecting with the breath. We take a moment to settle ourselves with intentional prayer, connecting with our guardian angel, sympathetic spirits, family spirits, mother, father, God, we come this evening 
knowing we are blessed. We remember that we are all children of God. No, what, no matter our material earthly standing. And we remember what Jesus not only taught, but showed us how to live helping those in most need. Not based on permission of others, nor stopping because he was criticized. We thank you, Master Jesus, for showing us this path And we know, as we choose to follow in your path, we are given all we need to face the trials, tribulations, and you have well informed us that this path is not easy, but the most fulfilling. Bringing us to true happiness, eternal happiness. Thank you. We also think of those maybe in less fortunate living standards than ourselves. Those who are homeless, prisoners, and our very ill brothers and sisters. We send waves of love and hope. May they know they are not alone and be rejuvenated with at least a flicker of hope witnessing the support of those who surround them. We ask for permission, a blessing, and your protection as we close this daily prayer program and we head into our week, this holiday week, let us remember to practice doing the good and not just because it's the holidays, because it's the right thing to do. And so be it. Nora, the music is good. Thank you. Okay, thank you, friends. So I wish a blessed week to everyone. Let us keep safe. 
and pray and experience the holidays safely for ourselves and for others. So go in peace and God willing, we'll meet up again next Sunday for another Sunday, 6 p.m. daily prayer program. Have a great week and those who are listening to this on demand, please feel our fraternity. God bless.